Derek Nansen and Brad Kovacic are your linesmen. It is a marquee matchup for sure. Two of the top teams in the NHL and a possible first round playoff preview. This one could be fun. A check there on Labushkin by Colton. Batted back down by Bogosian, but it's turned over. Here's Engvall, his shot scores! And the Toronto Maple Leafs, a quick strike team in first periods this season, have opened the scoring 1-0. And that's putting it lightly. This is a mistake by Bogosian. He's on his backhand, but still he has to make sure that puck gets through. So it ends up being a two-on-one. Really, he's back-checking. But Engvall, who's had a terrific season for the Toronto Maple Leafs, should not be, sh should be appreciated because he's got some serious skill. He's got big-time speed. He's a penalty killing for, for them. I know John Cooper talked about that. The players are well aware of it. So you got to pick your spots here. Stammer with a quick face-off will they score! Execution on faceoffs, there's nothing like it. There is nothing that any of the defensemen or forwards can do here. Austin Matthews get beaten cleanly by Steven Stamko. Bounced around and stepping into that is Matthews. Austin Matthews in towards Vasilevsky makes the save. Matthews now with goals at five straight. Backhand saved by Vasilevsky. Colton and Camper really going at it. They're waiting for that puck to come free. Why they come free for Colton? Colton leads to for Paul. Cuts up. Oh, what a save by Campbell as he robs Paul. Marner coming into tonight with a nine-game point streak. Here's Matthews trying to hold his ground. Helped up by Marner into the middle. Ends up back in the line for Riley in front. Bunting. Save by Vasilevsky on Michael Bunting. Back the other way comes Kucherov. He's past the first wave. Kuch across. Shot. Save by Campbell. What a stop. As he takes one away from Perry. Matthews with a quick outlook to Marner. Marner with some room. Steps in. In front turn by Bunting. Who crashes into the post. Second unit sets things up. Down low. Pass back up top. Giordano looks. Wrist shot. Save. Rebound. Vasilevsky sprawls out and takes another one away. Victor Hedman. With a pass up ahead to Kucherov, who's got the Tampa Bay goal. Here he comes. Kucherov with the back end. He's front. Another save. Way back. Campbell's got that one as well. He has been brilliant in this first period. The Lightning could have two or three. Kucherov moves in. Looks into the middle. Shot saved by Campbell on the quick release from Perry. Anthony Sorelli walks it off the end boards, puts it in open space, and skating into that one is Pilat. His centering pass picked off by the Leafs, and they'll turn it right back inside. Matthews carries in, shoots, scores! Austin Matthews with goal number 52. And it's a six-game goal scoring streak. He'll have his stick blade out way far from him. He'll bring it into his feet, whatever it takes. But also, he delays and he delays. That one, I don't know if it went off a Chernak stick. I heard the click when he shot. I didn't even see it go in the net from down here. So I don't know if that changed direction. It certainly fooled Vasilevsky. But look at him. See, he looking in to the middle of the ice. Yeah, I think that changed. You see where... Alex Colon now with the puck for the Lightning through center ice. He's followed up there by Stan. Goes pass to Ruda. Backhand. Scores. Yan Ruda has tied the game. One team misses at one end, and the other team comes right back and scores on the rush. That's exactly what happens. And Jan Ruda following the play up, and there's this screen in front of the net. You have to be able to take the goaltender's eyes away. It's a backhander. Does it touch anybody? No. It just fooled Campbell. It was sort of an off-speed pitch right on the ice. Ruta's doing the right thing, getting the shot through, and he's ready to get back to his spot. Boy, picked off by Marner. And the Leafs will reset. Lilligren. Fans of the dump-in attempt just gets it in there slightly. Now Marner following up. It's Marner in front, tip, scores, and it's Matthews again. 
and Toronto picks it off. Once they get in the zone here, they're able to keep it in at the blue line. Marner's the third guy high, and he just attracts so much attention. Three guys go to Marner. Watch over here on the side, and they're just a little bit late getting to Austin Matthews. Stamkos tries to get there. And the Leafs step back in. Tavares puts it across, has a shot, it's blocked, rebound! Oh, that hits the post, maybe both of them, another rebound, that goes wide. Double the flex, I knew that, but it stays out, it definitely hit the near post. As the Leafs were going looking for more here, Lightning need a pushback shift. This one's up in the air for Kerfoot, he steps in, cut down, they score! As the puck hops up and over Vasilevsky and into the net. And it is now 4-2 to Toronto. And when the forward's on the move, he has an advantage over the defenseman that's trying to stay up at the blue line. And that's exactly what happened. Kerfoot knows he has time and room. He actually missed his move. Vasilevsky's really good with the stick. He uses the poke check a lot. And that time the poke check betrayed him. I think it ramped up off his own blade and up and over his shoulder. That's kind of what it looked like. Now it's Marner. A couple of assists for him tonight. On the Matthews goals. Now here comes Marner. In of the blue line. Got Bunting with him. Bunting in front. Shoots. Saved by Vasilevsky. A save they absolutely had to get. In of the line, Martin with a wrist shot, that's blocked. One thing leads it for Matthews. Matthews, inside saucer feed to Martin, centering pass, here's Matthews, scores! It's a hat trick for Austin Matthews. He just reads the play and the room and time that Marner creates because he has the puck and the attention. And when you're a goal scorer, you get some good luck, too. I mean, that was just a shovel sort of dumped by Marner into the middle of the ice. So where does it go? Right to 34. And he just doesn't miss. It's amazing. He's just lurking. He's the high man in the zone. He gives it to Marner. Disappear for a second. But when you're a 54 goal scorer, he should have been crushed. Would have changed the rush completely. But... Guys are playing position and trying to be on the puck. They need to crush a few guys. Another good save there by Campbell on Kucherov. Got a good shot away. In the corner, settled down and handled by Giordano. He'll bag it off the boards, finds Bunting. Bunting with a stretch pass for Matthews. Matthews walks it out. Marner scores. And the route is now on. This line is so good once they get inside the zone. That's what makes them go. They get it deep. They cause a turnover. They are really good. I talked about Matthews being number two in takeaways in the National Hockey League. And one of those was a beauty. Took it away from Jan Ruda. Marner's timing is perfect. Lighting up nobody in the middle of the ice. They're starting to get into position because they think... There's no drop-off for sure, but it's the big boy putting it in the well back. Here's a chance in front. Saved by Campbell again as he robs Sorelli. And he is part of the story here tonight as well. Little walk-out wraparound play there by Colton. And Campbell shuts the door and hangs on. With Toronto being such a high-profile team and the Lightning and the possible matchup in the playoffs of what happened in this game, it'll be dissected. And one of the things that... Leaf fans in attendance who hung around for this one are getting their money's worth tonight, there's no doubt, as the Maple Leafs hand it to the Lightning 6-2 tonight.